Cartier. The name invokes romance, style, class, sophistication, and unparalleled use of the finest, most exotic materials in the world. Think the love bracelet, engagement ring, the jeweled panther, the Santos and tank watches, and the red bag with the gold embossed Cartier logo on it. It's a very luxurious brand that invokes very similar emotions that Chrome Hearts does, but is a very different type of positioning. Many say Cartier is the king of jewelry, but it is also the king of luxury eyewear. In this video, I'm going to review two of my favorite Cartier frames, one optical and one sunglass, and you can decide at the end of it if Cartier eyewear is the most luxurious eyewear in the industry. Click the like button and click the subscribe button if you want to see more of great eyewear reviews and the latest eyewear and eye eyeglasses trends and tips. Let's get started. Cartier eyewear has been a staple of the luxury eyewear industry for years, with a particularly strong following amongst the hip-hop urban crowd. You can either see the iconic C logo on the rimless frame or the white ebony frame on your favorite rap star or their entourage. It recently made a famous appearance on Adam Sandler's face in his newest movie, Uncut Gems. It's a great movie, a fantastic movie. Go watch it if you haven't had a chance. He's a great actor in it. Cartier used to have all its frames made in France, but because the demand exploded over the last few years, you can see some of their pieces made in Italy and even some in Japan for their titanium pieces. For example, the titanium piece I'm wearing right now is currently made in Japan and I love it. The reception of this uh, for Cartier being made in other countries outside of France has been mixed, but rest assured the quality stayed pretty much the same. Some of the designs, you could say, actually improved because it has a younger look and feel to it. Also, a little bit about eyewear industry, Richmond is the parent company of Cartier, but the distribution of the eyewear belongs to Kering, the owners of brands such as Gucci, Balenciaga, and Bodega Veneta. Anyways, that's a little bit about the industry of luxury eyewear. Let's talk about these frames. First, whatever catches your eyes is the packaging. Um, the packaging, the first thing you notice about uh, the box is color. The muted ruby red, which is very distinctive for the brand. Then, your eyes catches on the gold Cartier engraved on the top, so you know what you're purchasing. When you open the box, you can find multiple items when you open it. A black leather asymmetrical case that will hold your frames themselves. A travel pouch, authenticity packet, and a cleaning cloth. This smaller case is made of a pretty strong and durable material, so it will keep your glasses from getting crushed when you put it into your purse or travel with it. The material inside the case is made of black velvet, so it complements the exterior of the case. It also comes with a dust bag, so your Cartier frames have extra protection from dust or getting damaged. The other items you could find inside the box includes an authentication booklet written in dozens of languages. Um, it's pretty thick, so it's uh, pretty substantial. And a black eyeglass cloth to keep those frames pristine as possible. The first pair I'd like to review is a CT00630, an incredible rimless frame that has catered to the female customer. Rimless frames in general has fallen out of style recently due to the trend of plastic frames. But people still gravitate toward the Cartier rimless frames. Either it's the white ebony one, buffalo horn, 18 karat gold, precious wood, or this one, which is made with platinum. The beauty of rimless frames is that its shape can be made to whatever shape you want. Typically, the demo one, like this one, is square, but one can customize it to be either round, oval, to be have a deeper or wider shape, uh, for bigger or smaller heads. Though recently, I've seen more and more rimless frames be customized with an aviator shape because the aviator shape has become increasingly popular. I've yet to see a heart shape rimless, but I bet it's bound to happen. The preferred material for rimless is an impact resistant material called polycarbonate that is easily drillable because when you make a rimless frame, you have to drill at least uh, four holes in it. 
Now let's go into the details of the frame. Obviously, when you lay your eyes on the frame, you notice the front of the temple piece is shaped like a panther, a signature and trademark of the Cartier brand. It's beautifully and elegantly designed, so it does not scream the Cartier, but whoever knows the brand would definitely recognize it. You won't be a walking billboard with this frame on. The panther, the panther piece that connects the frame to the temple has eight hand lacquered spots, and as you move down the temple, uh, you, there are almost 14 uh, of these spots on each temple. To hand lacquer these is very labor intensive, uh, so it requires a lot of work to put into this frame. And it gives the frame an extra luxury appeal to it, and the panther has some character. For the branding of the frame, you can see that they etched the Cartier logo on the temple tip and on the nose pads, so you won't be lacking in branding for this piece. The bridge length is 18 centimeters and the temple length is 135 centimeters. And the lens, you don't have to worry about the measurements because you can make whatever signs you want, as I mentioned before. The frame is an excellent piece to get if you want to buy into the Cartier brand but don't want to be as common as the sea temples or the white ebony. It seems like everyone has those and you don't want to be different if you want to purchase this pair. The next frame that I like to talk about is a more masculine frame and it takes an elevator approach to the aviator shape you grow to know and love uh, through Ray-Ban. It's a CT0074S. It is part of the Santos Dumont collection. The Santos Dumont is named after the founders Louis Cartier's good friend Albert Santos Dumont. What is unique about the Santos Dumont series is its pronounced exposed screws. This motif goes across the Santos series as most noticeable in his watches and in the love bracelet. For the CT0074S, it's a grown-up aviator made with brushed gold, the screws are platinum, the covering in the middle of the frame is made with genuine leather, and the lens is a brown polarized lens. When you're a kid or in middle school or in college, you wear the aviator uh, from Ray-Ban. Now you're a grown up, you get the Cartier. What is special about the frame is that you remove the leather for two different looks um, and it reveals two platinum screws on it. So you can have one with the leather and one without it. You can also ask for additional leather covering and uh, one could be red so it could be particularly fa flashy in it. Finally, as you go down the temple, you can see the exposed platinum screws, four in total, and each of them in four different angles. The Cartier logo is embossed on the side for subtle branding, and the temple tip is finished with rubber tips to enhance its grip on your head. In addition, they have two interlocking CCs on the nose pads, like a lot of the Cartier frames, so you get the branding a little bit on the side and inside the, uh, inside the nose pads. Those are the things that I love about the frame. Though, it is not a perfect frame as you try it on. There are a few things that annoy me about the frame. It includes one, a spring hinge, which is my favorite because it typically uh, wears out after a few years and it's hard to find a replacement for. Also, as an Asian wear, the base curve or how much the frame curves in is particularly pronounced in this frame. Um, it sits uncomfortably, as you can see, on my cheeks, and whenever I um, smile, it actually lifts up. It doesn't fit as well as I like it to be. Uh, hopefully, they'll make a version that doesn't curve as much as this one. And when I brought it in the store, I wanted one personally for myself, but I realized it didn't fit well, so I gave it to the store to sell, which is, does sell really well in our stores. So that's it. These are two of my favorite Cartier frames. A classic rimless and elevated aviator. What do you think? Do you think that these frames are the king of luxury eyewear, just like Cartier is the king of jewelry? Comment below and let me know if there's any other Cartier frames and styles that you'd like me to review. Uh, Cartier has a ton of frames with really uh, precious metals and really rare woods and buffalo horns, so it will make a great video if you like that. But if you're looking for a Cartier eyewear, Click the link below at myoptical.com and you'll find our collection there and you can find the latest styles as well. And if you're in New York City, come visit one of our stores and we can try it on in person.
Again, if you like what you see and want to see more, click the like button and subscribe below. Thanks and I'll see you next time.